What is up guys, my name is Johan and I'll be demonstrating the Strymon Lex Leslie Simulator. Uh, I'll show you how it sounds right off the bat and I will uh, explain how it works later. This is the clean sound. I'm playing through a uh, Blackstar uh, HD60 on a Les Paul. <laughs> So basically we have uh, four knobs on this pedal. There is the fast rotor speed, horn level, mic distance and preamp drive. Now the most interesting of course in my book is the, uh, the, the rotor speed uh, which, uh, which uh, decides how fast the, the cabinet is spinning on this Leslie speaker. So you can both change the fast speed which is set right here you can see on the LED it's blink it's uh, blinking quite fast and if I press this it slows down so I can both adjust the fast and the slow setting so if I because all these four knobs hide different settings if I press down both of the buttons um, it'll do different things than the text says so for instance if I press down both of these and I turn this knob it actually changes the slow setting so now, when I go to the slow setting, it'll be as slow as the slow setting can be. And if I press down both of these again, and turn up to maximum, it'll be as fast as the slow setting can be. So now we actually have pretty fast for a slow setting, if I can say so. And you hear if I turn it down again, it's extremely slow. It's barely audible. Um, but of course it's a big difference if you compare to if you bypass the pedal. It gives life to the sound uh, in some unexplainable way. And we have here the horn level and the horn level controls uh, kind of the the edginess to the sound. Um, I'll give you an, a really clear example of this. So it's kind of the uh, treble horn, I guess. Uh, and then we have the pre-amp drive knob, 
which controls, of course, uh, overdrive um, doesn't have to explain. I don't have to explain this any deeper than that, I think. Uh, I'll just show you how it sounds all the way down. Then we have the mic distance. Now, the mic distance knob is the least... How can I say this? Uh, it, it seems to uh, have the least impact on the sound. Uh, I'll show you with it uh, on the far left. So it's supposed to s simulate how far from the uh, rotator, the <laughs> the spinning speaker you put your microphone. Um, I'm not sure really how much this affects the sound. I've I've played around with it quite a bit, and I don't quite hear so much of a difference. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much the Lex Strymon Lex, and uh, take care. Thanks for watching.